Hey, Jeff, Big Daddy Wayne here today on my YouTube channel, Big Daddy Knows. And I think I do because I just read a book, ladies and gentlemen. This is better than the Harry Pothead books. This is called uh, The War on Normal People by Andrew Yang. And I was attracted because I've seen him on some of the TV shows. And I must tell you, I do like to read and I wanted to find out what this was all about because it says The War on Normal People. Of course, I don't consider myself normal, so that made it uh, particularly interesting to me. This is going to scare the shit out of a lot of people because he gives a lot of data that will present his arguments. Then he gives his solutions with a lot of data to back it up. And I think that's going to scare people because, you know, when it's laid out clearly and precise as he does, it, it's a scary thing because essentially... Automation is taking over all jobs in the future. All these jobs are going to be replaced by automation, and then people are without jobs, and what are they going to do? we got to sort of plan for that now, don't we? And we find out that uh, retraining people, it just, it just doesn't work out. It doesn't happen. And, and poor people, we all become poor. Poor people make poor decisions. They have a very, you know, their bandwidth, their mental bandwidth. Uh, I suffer from this, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. I've made a number of poor decisions in my life. Look at some of my videos. They're just terrible. Uh, and maybe this one is also because I'm poor. I'm a poor man. I'm not a normal man. But I want something good to happen for our country. And I think it's going to be Andrew Yang uh, for a number of reasons. He has a sense of humor. He's obviously a good, good man and a good parent. And he wrote a very, very good book. And so I want to suggest to you to get this book. The truth about America's disappearing jobs. And you know about that, ladies and gentlemen. Jobs are disappearing. And what he talks about, this has been coming for a long time. I remember a, a movie. I, I love old movies. There was a movie in 1933 called um, Dinner at Eight. And at the end of the film, uh, Marie Dressler, this old dowager actress, is walking with Jean Harlow, you know, who was the sex symbol of her day. And she goes, I was reading a book the other day. And of course, the dowager stops like, yeah, you read books. And she goes, the book said robots are going to replace everything. And when you read Esler, you know, glances at her. Mm -hmm. And she goes, well, I don't think everything. I think sex robots are going to be happening very soon. He doesn't address this in the book. But it's one of the things I started thinking about because they have robots now. You see them. People don't vacuum. They have a little robot come out. They have robots that are serving things. Uh, the machines in Burger King and McDonald's have started. They're not paying a minimum wage. They're not paying some punk kid $15 an hour to scoop ice cream. Where's that going? Listen, sex robots will probably be here very soon. I'm researching it as we speak. I want to find the difference between the male sex robot and the female sex robot. I think it has something to do with tubes. I think the female has big tubes. Whoa! Anyway, the war on normal people. You're normal, and you're just spending a little time with me who's abnormal to find out that this book, read this book, this is probably the guy you're going to want to vote for uh, because he has figured out when people become poor, uh, you know, they become desperate. They stop they lose their job. They have nothing to do. They start doing drugs. They start drinking. They start getting into crime. Uh, that means there's police. The police become corrupt. You know, maybe you ought to get into law enforcement if that's the future. I don't know. But read this and enjoy it because I know you're normal. Spending a little abnormal time with Big Daddy because I know.